start with the warm up and then we're going to go with our power. So let's start with lateral lunges going right, center, left, center. Side to side. Good. Just warm it up. Three, two, and one. Rear lunges. Hands come up. Take that knee all the way down and then standing. Good. You switch in left and right. If you were just sitting, working for a while, this would feel pretty good. Three, two, and one. Let's go with our squats. Push those hips back. Good. For three, two, and one. Let's hold it down low. Take those toes out wide, sumo squat pulses. Just walk them a little bit out. Nice. For three, two, and one. Come back up. Arms up high. Let's reach the opposite toe. Back up to standing. Opposite toe. Back up. Stretching out the hamstrings. Upper core today. A little bit of glutes as well. Main focus is upper core. Three. Two, and one. Let's go with our mobility squat. So reach up to those toes. Squat, hands back up, and lift. Reach, squat, hands up, lift. Two more. Last one. Good. Let's go ahead and take it all the way down on our mat. I'll move my little camera so we can do one push up. One shoulder tap, and then come back up. Interim, interim, interim. Good, again, all the way down. One push up, shoulder tap, and then take it up. Last time, and then let's keep it on the ground. Good, a little bit of those arms. Good, no, right? And left, forward. Good, let's switch it. Reverse direction, go backward. Nice, go ahead, take that right foot outside your right hand, take out that hip flexor, reach it up if you'd like. Bring that elbow down, one more time. Good, switch. Reach, and lower.
Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hand release. Push up. Superman. And then again. Hand release. Push up. Superman. Here we go. Two back extensions right there. Working that core as well. Three moves here, you got it. Ten seconds left. Good. Three, two, one. Up next is a devil's press. So you're going to swing those dumbbells back into a clean press. Press the weights down. Jump it back, come back up, swing the weights, clean, press, and then to a drop. No push-ups, all right? So, pulling up, do you want to grab maybe 10s or 15s? That would be awesome. Three, two, one. Swing the weights, swing them back, swing them up. Good, press it up, drop it on your mat, jump back. And keep swing, clean, press, drop, jump in there, step it back. Good, swing that weight. Yes. We got it. It's called the devil's press for a reason. It's a little tricky. Ten more. Woo, we're on the same pace. I love it. Three. Two, one, excellent, next one, we're squatting, maybe choose your lighter weight, we're jacking it down and up, down and up, with your weight underneath your chin, here we go, three, two, one, let's do it, jack it out, hold it that weight, get in some glutes in, Perfect. That stays up. We got a lot of up and downs today on our mat, off the mat, but it keeps your heart rate up. So sometimes it gets annoying to have to stand back up, but there's point behind it. Good. Ten more. Breathe. Three, two, one. Good. Lighter weights. We come on the ground. We got a boat pose hold with bicep curls. So boat pose means legs are off the ground. Whoop, like this. Then we perform our bicep curl. If this gets too heavy, drop your heels and keep that bicep curl going. 40 seconds. Three. Two, one, go. Good, Paulina, good. Try to keep those legs off the ground. This is probably the hardest bicep curl you'll ever do. Good, lift and lower. Drop those feet if you have to. But you got it. Good, almost. Five more. Three, two, one. 40 seconds is a lot nicer than 45. That five extra really adds up. All right, we got inchworm into donkey kicks. So all body weight. You're gonna walk it all the way down into that bear position, heels up, and then walk it back up. Here we go, set. Let's do it. Walk it out into that bear position. Drive those heels up. And then lift. All the way up. Good. Take it down. You got your own speed. All the way up and all the way down. Good. You can hold that plank for a second to let you feel those abdominals. Keep going. Perfect. 
break, so just let me know. But based on your form last time, I think you're good. Five more, it's just 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Devil's press, try to stick with those heavier weights if you can. Swing it back. Clean press. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Drop it down. Jump it back. Right back up. Add to the lift. Careful that lower back. Sit low in those glutes.
I like that one. <laughs> Let's do it. Ready? Set. Go. Renegade. And jack it out. Good. Nice jack. Perfect. It's quick. Almost. We have five left. Three, two, and one. This time, instead of our reverse C crunch, we're going to do double leg lowers, lift, push your hips to the ceiling. Lower, lift, hips to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Go. Good. Hand standing tap bottom. If ever the hip raise is too much on that lower back, just take it out. Ten more. Excellent.
exercises. Ready? Set? Go! Nice, you got it, you got it. There you go. You got three, two, one. Our renegade row with our jack. Renegade row, but in a bear position. Three, two, one, go for it. That's your way to grab it.
too heavy. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Three rows. Good those hips. Three upright rows. Nice. Good. Quick. Way to go, way to go. Keep lifting. Breathe through. Ten more. You got it. Nice. Pull it up. Three, two, one. Let's drop it down. One more chest fly. Ready? Set with your glute bridge. Let's go. Good. Slow and steady. So 
with that, it's a little bit harder if you stick with one direction. So if you ever try this, if you only have a lighter weight, you can also just focus on one direction. But I like mixing it up, makes your mind work a little more. It gets it off of you holding your elbows up for 45 seconds with a heavy weight. You're doing it, five more. Three, two, one. Last hollow hold, and then our last station is just abdominals. So, we can be on our mat. Ready, set, let's get rocking, go. See what I did there? <laughs> Got it, while well, you're here and you're holding, which is totally fine too, or you can keep those legs up. Good, press the lower back into the mat every time. Awesome. Ten more. Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> hey, Dustin. All right. Last station. Let's go. I'll show you this way so you can see. We got a single arm plank. This one kind of stinks, uh, but we'll get through it. I'll give you a modification. So single arm, one arm goes behind your back and you're holding it. Try to prevent this. Don't let it slide. Get those hips low. I'll tell you when you're halfway and you can switch arms. You want to hold it for all 45 seconds, be my guest, but watch those hips. That's your first one. Your second one, old school, knee to elbow, extend, knee to elbow, extend. Try not to let that foot tap. And then your other modification is bend that bottom knee. Extend it. No weight needed in that hand. All right, Paulina, let's do our single arm plank. On your forearms. Three, two, one, let's go. I put it behind my back. I think it's easier to rest there. I will definitely tell you when you're halfway. Um, that way you can switch. Good, and switch if you'd like. Good, try not to move those hips, belly button close to the ground. Ten more. Three, two, one, drop. All right, whatever side you'd like to go first. We'll do that knee to elbow exercise. Ready? Set. Let's lift. Knee to elbow release. Good. Always be modified. Know that shoulder is tired. Lie down. Good, keep pulling. Ten left. Good, we got three. Come on, two and one. Woo! One more time with our forearm plank and then we'll hit the other side. Here we go, ready? Forearm plank, set, go. Whatever one you want to start with. Those arms, or you keep it on that same arm. 
our knees if we have to. Here we go. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Lower and lift. Excellent.